Hello, my name is Klaus Wagensonner and I am postdoc associate at the Yale Babylonian Collection. Welcome to today's Specimen Spotlight. Today I would like to highlight one of the collection's many outstanding artifacts. It is quite easy to choose an object from the Babylonian Collection's holdings with roughly 40,000 ancient artifacts that originate from the area of Iraq, Syria and beyond. Today I will talk about a small clay tablet which is one of its kind and which fascinated me since I first picked it up from one of the drawers in the debit room. What I have here in my hand is not the original, but a 3D print of this tablet to better demonstrate its size. This clay tablet is inscribed with a writing system known as cuneiform, which derives its name from the Latin word for wretch, cuneus. Through meticulous memorizing, scribes in ancient Mesopotamia the land between the rivers Euphrates and Tigris, learned how to write hundreds of different characters, each consisting of combinations of vertical, horizontal, and slanted impressions by reed starters. These young scribes did not only have to learn how to write these signs, but also what these signs meant. Each character has a multitude of readings and meanings. By approaching the text, the modern reader needs to decide whether a sign is syllabic and what syllable the sign represents, or whether it was logographic and thus renders a specific word, similar to the dollar sign. Luckily, we have useful tools at hand which were faithfully copied by the ancient scribes and which provide this type of information. The present tablet, which can be dated to the first half of the second millennium BCE, might be another such tool, although we cannot be sure about its purpose. This tablet lists all known cuneiform characters. Its scribe was highly capable and certainly at the height of his career. Each sign is written meticulously and represents the ideal form. An entirely unique feature of this text is its layout. The signs are not written as usually expected in a list, but as fluid text line after line. In doing so, the scribe could fit 460 individual signs on this small tablet alone. Quite intriguing is also how the scribes structured the text, as the signs are organized in a certain way using specific graphical similarities between the signs entered. I want to demonstrate this based on one line of the text. This line comes from the lower part of the debit's front side, which we usually refer to as obverse. It starts off with five very simple sign forms that each consist of two impressions, one vertical and one horizontal or slanted. The last sign in this group transitions over to a more complex sign form, adding a star-shaped sign. But not enough. This sign can even further be appended by tripling the star sign. In the next step, the scribe disassembles this complex sign step by step, first by taking the three stars as separate entry, then one star, and finally the star sign missing the vertical wedge. All these different signs are attested elsewhere, and ancient syllabaries provide us with their multiple readings and meanings. I hope this brief look into the drawers of the Yale Babylonian collection proved useful. If you want to know more about the collection, our research, exhibitions and ongoing work, visit us either on our homepage or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.